And this week, I just want to give you a quick tip about um, editing your photos on your smartphone. This is the Panda um, piece that I finished this week. I have an iPhone um, and I always edit my photographs in my iPhone before I send to a client or post onto social media. Um, what I tend to do is take the photograph and then edit it so that the photo looks like the original drawing. Um, it's not very often that I take a photograph and it looks exactly like the original drawing. So I bring it into um, edit mode in my phone and I go through all of the different uh, little bits and pieces. So um, some of them I don't use at all. Uh, the ones that I'm using here are the ones that I use on a regular basis. So that brilliance, I can make it kind of lighter, or I can make it darker and it kind of enhances certain areas. Um, shadows, uh, highlights, the contrast is a really good one. Um, you know, don't go over the top and try not to make it so you're making it very different to your original piece. You, you know, your photograph wants to reflect your original piece exactly, um, you know, if you can. Uh, so these are all the different little uh, editing tools that I use on, on a regular basis. Don't really use the saturation or the vibrancy. I find this one, the tint, to be a very, very useful um editing tool uh, and I use it on a lot of my pieces sometimes when you take a photograph you get a bit of a green cast on it um, and just by adding in a little bit of that uh, red it can really change the look and feel of the piece and make it much more like your original the other one that I use an awful lot of is the noise reduction tool this I find is brilliant when you take a photograph with a smartphone, their, their cameras are so amazing. They pick up on everything and enhance it. And when, you, when you're doing artwork, particularly on pastel mat, you don't want that grain that comes through enhancing, you know, and this doesn't look anything like my, my original drawing. So I use the noise reduction and normally use it around between sort of 30 and 40. Then I come back and I add a little bit more definition in so that we don't lose everything. Um, another good thing on the iPhone is if you just kind of touch the screen Screen when you've done an amendment uh, you can go back to the original and you can kind of flick through what the original looked like and what the um, the edited version looks like <laughs> 